Hey everybody, Jason here to talk about episode three of the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power on Amazon Prime Video. Um, it, I'm going to be talking some spoilers, so if you haven't seen this week's episode of the Lord of the Rings, uh, head on over to Prime Video and check it out. Uh, if you have seen it and or spoilers don't matter to you, uh, well, you've been warned, so I'm going to go ahead and continue on with the video. Uh, I really liked this episode. This was a, a really solid episode. I'll admit, last week's episodes uh, were pretty cool. You know, they introduced uh, some familiar characters and some new characters um, and dived, delved pretty deep into the lore of uh, Middle-earth. Uh, but this episode had something much more. I mean, the pacing was so was so much uh the pacing was so much different it was so much stronger i liked this episode a lot more um i will admit that going into this series i had not read the silmarillion um but after watching last week's episodes um it made me actually want to give it give it a chance um i've heard that it's kind of a difficult read because of the language that's used in it um so i decided to snag a copy of the audiobook and uh, I've been listening to it and so far I can understand why people have said uh, that about the Silmarillion but that that being said uh, it's interesting that this episode comes about because I just reached a uh, part of the Silmarillion where they begin talking about uh, the uh, the city uh, the the island of Numenor um, and it was really cool you know to actually see it um see see an envision you know see a fully realized version of it in in film it was so cool um and also the introduction of uh, Elendil and uh, Isildur into the series was really you know i mean being a fan of lord of the rings a fan of the films uh those are two big names in the uh history of middle earth so actually seeing their story unfold in this series um has me pretty excited um Arendor, the 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 elven character that was introduced in the you know first episode that's kind of, we've been following through um he's he's you know he's pretty cool and but he's in some uh he's in some dire straits and i'm interested to see who this uh adar character is um seems to be sort of the overlord the master of the orcs um and i'm sure we'll find out what you know what he's up to in the next episode um considering that tease at the end um as far as this stranger goes that's uh with the uh the the the, the harfoots uh i'm almost if if they if they reveal that it's gandalf i would not be surprised um i think it would be interesting if it was just because that would kind of explain his uh sort of kinship and 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 interest in hobbits um and why he would spark a relationship you know a friendship with uh bilbo baggins and you know frodo over the years um so I'd be interested to see, I mean, it's almost alluded, it's almost quite alluded to the fact that this could be Gandalf, a younger Gandalf, but you know, uh, who knows? Um, all in all, I really, really enjoyed this episode. I mean, the grandeur, the aesthetic, everything about this episode was, was bigger. I don't know. I mean, the first th two episodes were pretty good and there was a lot of, a lot of stuff uh, that was really cool and 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 you know that was you know pretty incredible in its own right but this episode really just had something more um and i can't wait to see how the series uh is going to unfold um and the fact that i'm i'm also going in into it also uh listening to the silmarillion at the same time i think is even even more uh even more fun because that just you know it just adds more uh value to me as someone uh who's both a fan of the lord of the rings films and the books um and just tolkien's uh 
works on in uh, Middle Earth in general. So, um, all in all, I'm actually going to give this episode a five out of five. I thought it was really good. I thought it was so far probably the strongest of the series thus far. Um, let me know what you thought of this week's episode of The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, down in the comments. I'm always interested to hear from people. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Click that notification bell to get updates on all my future videos. Thank you, as always, for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.